probably heard the saying, everything is bigger in Texas. Well, fishing in Galveston definitely confirms this theory. In today's video, we'll be heading down to the Lone Star State to check out one of the Gulf's most prestigious fisheries. We'll talk to some of our local captains who will take us through a typical day of fishing in Galveston. We'll learn about some of the top catches in the area, the best spots to go fishing, and what you need to know in order to plan a successful fishing trip. After watching this video, you want to pack your bags, grab your lucky rod, and start fishing on Texas's amazing Gulf Coast. If you look at the map, you'll see right away why Galveston is Texas's most popular fishing destination. The town sits on a thin stretch of land surrounded by bays and inlets to the north and the Gulf of Mexico to the south. Whether you want to relax in shore or head out on an epic adventure to the Gulf, you'll have plenty of opportunities to catch lots of fish and create some unforgettable memories. One of the greatest things about Galveston is not only the people and the access that we have around here, is we always have something to fish for. So regardless whether it's the springtime, the wintertime, the middle of the summer when we've got everything, there's always something that we can target out on the water. We don't have to necessarily just go, oh, this is a horrible time of year, we shouldn't go fishing today. The Galveston and East Bays are filled with tons of redfish and speckled trout. And the best part is, you can target them all year round. Some other local favorites include Flounder, Black Drum, Sheep's Head, and Jack Creval. Several miles outside of the bay, you'll be near shore fishing for larger species such as Cobia, Kingfish, and Mahi Mahi. A bit further offshore, and you'll come across Red Snapper, Amberjack, and many more. I would say my f personal favorite type of fishing is uh, probably live baiting uh, blue marlin and, and uh, yellowfin tunas out in deep water. Uh, but I do spend most of my time closer inshore catching snapper, grouper, amberjack, and I love to side cast for big cobia. Since Gaveston has so many great fishing spots, deciding on where to go first can be a bit overwhelming. That's why hopping on a charter boat makes it extra easy when planning a trip. Your job is to focus on reeling in the fish and your guide will take care of the rest. If you're looking to add some real excitement to your fishing trip, you should definitely pick a charter to take you shark fishing. These trips will have your rod bending and keep you on the edge of your fighting chair. You can target anything from small feisty sharks inshore to big monsters far off the coast. Some of the sharks you'll most likely encounter are black tips, hammerheads, and the best time to target them is between late May and September. You'll be happy to know that targeting red snapper in state waters is open all year round. However, if you'll be fishing for them in federal waters, you'll have to plan your trip in either June or July. Another important thing to remember is that you'll need to purchase a fishing license before you get on the boat. However, fuel, bait, and tackle are usually included in the price. So just be sure to grab some sun protection and pack your favorite snacks and drinks for the ride. With so many options to choose from, you'll have the chance to experience a little bit of everything and get a true taste of what fishing in Texas is all about. If you like what you see, click on the link above the description and take a look at some of the charters in the area. In just a short click, you'll be one step closer to planning your trip and creating lasting memories on Texas's Gulf Coast.